Hey there, what's up internet? Welcome back. Welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. My name is Blacklight Attack. MOBAs make me mad. And last time we went ahead and met uh, a little flower girl, as we uh, originally did in the first mission. Um, if you even want to call it a mission. Well, it was a mission to Avalanche. This game doesn't really have missions, but uh, just sort of a story. We Anyway, we met Eris. And she's going to prove to be a uh, pretty uh, pretty important character to the plot. And that's actually saying a lot because uh, one thing that I love about this game is that, generally speaking, every character uh, in, in the entire playable roster is actually very important to the plot. Um, and Eris just happens to be a bit more important in many ways. We'll, we'll see what's, uh, what exactly I mean later on. Um, but basically just take it from me, she's gonna be important. And, uh, once I said that, I was kinda like going back and thinking like, hmm, is there any character that's just sort of filler? And there are nine playable characters, I'm just, I'm drawing a blank, honestly. Uh, every single character I've been able to, I've been able to come up with at least some, uh, important factor they had, um, on that. Ah, here's a famous, here's a famous, uh, mis- uh, mistranslation. This guy are sick. He passed out nearby, and someone must have helped him here. That's a that's a famous uh, mistranslation. Uh, I forget what I was just saying. Um, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I think we talked to him a few times. Oh no, I actually just won't you help him? Uh, I'm no doctor. Sorry, honey. This guy's just like, uh, uh. he's all messed up. Yeah, and he has a tattoo of the number two. Well. Aren't you just fly as fuck? Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I was I, I was drawing a blank on that on who might be kind of inconsequential to the plot. Now I'm thinking like, say Final Fantasy VIII had actually a few. Actually, the plot was so weird in Final Fantasy VIII. Um, the weapon sword's over that way. Oh, okay. In Final Fantasy VIII, the plot was just so weird that the only two characters that really made that much of a difference, uh, aside from relatively minor points in the plot, is uh, the fact that... Sorry, what, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, aside from really minor points in the plot, the only characters that were really important were Squall and Renoa. Sorry, I'm totally blanking here. I need to focus on my conversation. Um, Squall and Renault were really the only two. I mean, there were a couple that had pretty important things going on, like, um, it was Irvin's job to, uh, assassinate the sorceress, and he kind of bungled it, and I guess Zell punched a lot of people. I don't really know. I guess Zell kind of drove a lot of the, uh, animosity between the party and Cypher, but, um, one, myself, me, I don't know. I'm just kind of talking to everybody at this point. Um, and then in Final Fantasy IX, there was definitely, like, Kina. Kina was, you know, comedic relief, but no one will find it, num num, the top one and the bottom one. Okay. So you can actually, um, there's a hidden drawer between the drawer. So, yeah, obviously we want to open the hidden one. Five gill, fuck that. You can have your five gill. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Actually, there's an advantage to that. You'll come back to this part later in the game, and if you steal that kid's gill, his little gill stash there, which is absolutely inconsequential to you, there won't be anything in there when you return, but if you leave it there, he'll actually buy like a mega elixir, which is a really powerful healing item, and you can you can grab that. Um, to no detriment, it's not like stealing from poor kids has any any uh, uh, consequences or anything in real life. But um, is there anything over here? No, nah, I didn't think so. Okay, so we're pretty much done exploring the town. We bought some armor for Cloud. Eris already had one, and then um, there's one for whoever joins up with our party next, and I think I know who that is, but, uh, yeah. So, I don't know, I personally, what did, what did everybody feel about Kina? I, I honestly don't feel Kina's very, uh, a very good comedic relief character. I mean, she kind of just, he, she, uh, just kind of talks like a giant child and is really dumb and focused on food, and I didn't really find her all that funny. I always call her, uh, call it a her, even though it's a she, he, um, so, Oh, apparently my memory card is very small. Good to know. <laughs> I, I was kind of planning on just just going um, and and uh, making a new save for each save, making a new file for each save. So if I ever fuck up an episode, I can just go back and re-record. But okay, so this is Eris's house. We brought her back home as we promised. 
Mom, I'm home. This is Cloud, my bodyguard. I can be your bodyguard. No, wait. If you'll be my bodyguard, I can be your long lost pal. Anyway, so this is Elmira, who's uh, Eris's mother. Not quite as important a character. Um, and Cloud just wants to get back to Sector 7. Eris wants to know what he's going to do now. Is Tifa a girl? Yeah, it's right. Do something about it. A girl friend? Girl. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know. Honestly, like. The answer is no, Tifa's not Cloud's girlfriend, so we'll just say no way. I wouldn't say no way, because there's kind of something going on there. Tifa's pretty hot, man, but you don't have to get that upset. I didn't mean to. That's just the only option the game gave me. Sorry, baby. Well, that's nice. Let's see. Sector 7, I'll show you the way. Yeah, you gotta be kidding. You want... It's Isn't the whole city just a circle? I mean, if I'm in Sector 5, I mean, all I have to do is figure out if, if it goes clockwise or counterclockwise, and then I'm... All I have to do, honestly, even if I pick the wrong direction, I'll eventually reach Sector 7. Getting help from a girl. What do you mean by that? Yeah, you don't say that shit, Cloud. This is kind of nice. Um, I guess Eris does sort of have a bit of the old um, damsel distress thing going on. But she's pretty feisty. I like that. She's, um, she's not completely helpless, which is nice. But anyway, Elmira wants us to stay the night. That's fine. Okay. Please go and make the bed. So yeah, we saw that translation error earlier. I mentioned in the previous episode, I think, that this game is kind of infamous for some slips in translation. Um, and it does feel rushed in some regards to that. But I mean, I I'm actually surprised they didn't fix that for the re-release. I think some of those were fixed in the PC re-release. Um, anyway, if we talk to Elmira and she wants us to just fuck off. She's like, hey, I, I don't mean to be rude, but please just leave. She basically doesn't trust anybody that used to be with Shinra. She sees that Cloud has the Mako eyes that indicate he used to be a soldier. And um, she just wants him to, to leave because she knows that Eris is probably up to something. But So obviously we're in Sector 5 right now. We need to get through Sector, sector 6 in order to get back to Sector 7. And uh, yes, Eris? Yeah, good night to you too, baby. I see you. I don't think there are any items or anything to be had, but... Oh, man. Now we're just gonna have ourselves a good night's rest. Seem pretty tired. Yeah, well, I am pretty tired. What the fuck? Voices in my head. I haven't slept in a bed like this in a long time. Ha, <laughs> yeah. Ever since what time? Are we gonna have another flashback? Yeah, we are. Just kidding, I knew. Oh, my, how you going? Oh, it's Cloud's mommy. Hi, Mom. That the, the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I think he's supposed to mean, like, nah, the girls, I don't, I, don't, I don't really have a problem with the girls. They don't exactly pay attention to me. But it kind of came off like, no, the girls don't really leave me alone. They're pretty into me, dude. I don't know. A lot of temptations in the city, yeah. I mean, there are definitely a lot of hookers. I'm fine. Shut your mouth. I should have an older girlfriend, one that'll take care of me. Too bad both the love interests in this game are actually slightly younger than Cloud. I need I need an older girlfriend that'll take care of me, apparently, but... There are three playable female characters, and they're all significantly... Uh, or at least slightly. I think Tifa's, like, slightly. She's, like, a year younger than Cloud. Eris is 18 during the times of, this, of these events, and then Yuffie, who we uh, haven't met at all yet, is going to be... Uh, I think she's 16, but... Oh, you know what? Actually, Yuffie's pretty inconsequential to the plot. I kind of like her, and she's one of the comedic relief characters, so I guess she's not entirely important. There is kind of the whole uh, side quest in her hometown, which we'll get to later. This isn't really much of a spoiler, but... Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to be stealthing out. She's like, I thought the Turks came back. Get some rest. I forgot I'm supposed to be... I was supposed to be stealthing out. I'm paying too much attention to what I'm saying. Um... So yeah, now that I think about it, Yuffie actually is not that important. Which is kind of interesting, because Yuffie's actually an optional character. You can actually go through the whole game without ever even getting Yuffie. There's another character like that, Vincent. But Vincent's actually very important to the plot. Or at least the people that he's related to are. So, um, it's beside the point. Anyway, we're getting the hell out of here. See ya, bitch. Sorry. Hate to uh, burst your bubble, but I need to get the heck out of Dodge. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I wonder how they decided it was bedtime. Do people in the slums just go to bed whenever they want? I guess they all have clocks, probably. 
I don't know, I mentioned because Barrett said there's no night or day in the city, but... I am up bright and early. What do you mean bright? It's dim as fuck, there's no sky. How could I ask you to go along when I knew it would be dangerous, baby? She's just like, are you done? Like, seriously? Can you shut the fuck up? Come with. Shut up. So, okay, so we have to go through Sector 6, and... Sector 6 is a pretty interesting place. We'll, we'll see exactly how in just a moment. So, I, I do have to apologize before I want to get this out of the way. If I randomly just, like, pause the Let's Play, I mean, you guys will get a nice little time skip, but if I'm randomly like, hold on, I'll be right back, and then, like, you get a time skip, uh, I'm currently trying to get uh, this game, and uh, a lot of you have probably heard about it by now. It's called Cube World, and it's basically this RPG that's all very cubic. Actually, the model, the character models remind me a bit of Final Fantasy VII, to be honest. Um, hey, it's a giant house. We're fighting a house. It's not really a house, though. Um... It kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy VII, the character models. Obviously, it looks a lot a lot nicer, because it's like a current generation game for the PC. But basically, the guy who made it decided to distribute it. Uh, I think it was made by one guy. Oh no, did you just, did you just nuke Eris? You dick. I need her. Um, the guy who made it decided to distribute it himself from his own website, not through Steam or even the shittier option Origin or anything like that. Um, so... Basically, what's happening is, it, the, when the game first came out, there was sort of a friendly DDoS hug of death, where everybody wanted the game, so they were hitting the server so hard, trying to sign up for the website and buy the game, that the website crashed, and the servers went down, and all this good stuff, and nobody, basically in order to download the game from the store, you have to register an account. So, basically, after that all kind of settled, some dickhead started fucking DDoSing him on purpose, um, not because he wanted the game, but just to be a fucking twat. And now everybody's just waiting for it to come back up. So I basically, in one tab, have this website that's keeping track of of Picroma, the website that um, Cube World is distributed from, to tell tell you when registration is up, when the shop is up. Um, and right now the registration and the shop are both down. They're I think two separate sites, but um, I guess this is this is goodbye. Fuck off. Oh no, whatever will I do? Is that what you wanted me to say? All right, let's go to sector seven. Want I be in your way? Will you fucking make up your mind? Jesus. So basically, if I see that um, the, in, in this tab that's auto-checking whether or not the website is up, um, if I can, uh, if I if I see that the registration is up so I can register and buy this game, I'm, I'm going to do that. Sorry. I just, I, it's at the point where, like, you need to jump on this because it'll be up for, like, half an hour and then it'll go back down. So... Everybody's keeping an eye on this auto refresh website waiting for a chance to buy this game, so which is kind of just exacerbating the problem I'll bet, but I don't know this website only pings it every like minute or 30 seconds or something So it's not like you know, and it's just one website checking so it's not really a big deal But rank what rank were you is it rank uh, in soldier? I don't know Ah, uh, White uh, white noise first class. I Was I was the white just as the same as him same as who baby? Oh, your first boyfriend, do I remind you of him? Were you serious? You get down? No? Oh, okay. Well then. Probably knew him. Who's his name? Oh, it doesn't matter. Well then. How about fuck you? Little Miss Passive Aggressive. It's not really passive aggressive, but... I'll oh, watch this awesome turning animation on the cart. That's a chocobo, by the way. Oh, look at that turn. That thing that's, uh, carrot that's dragging the cart. That's called a chocobo. It's giant. They're, they're a mainstay of the Final Fantasy series, but if you don't play Final Fantasy, they're basically like giant golden ostriches, I guess. And they, they're kind of regularly used as mounts. But anyway, oh my god, that's Tifa on the back of the cart. I'm really actually really glad Cloud exclaimed her name because I wouldn't have been able to recognize her because of the shitty character models. But the girl in the cart was Tifa. She looked kind of odd. Um, so, oh, balls. Anyway, we're going to have to go into uh, a little bit further into Sector 6. You go home! Fuck off! Get back here! God damn it, Eris, you're killing me, babe! Get back here! Ah! Okay, so I think that ruined playground and and the sort of jungle gym I went around was part of Sector 6, and I think this is the other part of I don't know if, if this... This is called the Wall... Not Wall Street. Wall Market. The Wall Market is... I don't know if this is technically part of Sector 6, or if it's just kind of between 6 and 7, but I think it's technically part of Sector 6. Not that it really matters, this is pretty inconsequential. Um, but, this is a really fun part of the game. 
This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl, so we gotta find Tifa fast. Alright, let's go find Tifa then. Let's not even bother with any of these assholes. We'll bother with the save point real quick. And yeah, bada bing, bada boom, we gotta say. So like, I don't know at what point they introduced Chocobos, but they've been around for a while. They're basically just the mounts of, of the Final Fantasy franchise. They're, um, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe them. They're just, they're cute, I guess. I don't really know. Um, in some games, they're a little bit more involved than others. In this game, Chocobos are actually pretty important because you get to breed Chocobos later, and they become a, a, a way that you access some really powerful items later in the game. Um, we'll get, obviously, to that quite a bit later. But anyway. Oh, Don Corneo's mansion. He's a big shot here in Wall Market. Listen, the Don's not interested in men. So we'll just get the hell out of here. Yeah, well, too bad. I am. No, wait. Hold on. Um, okay. I guess we're... Oh, I think we actually gotta ask around to see where Tifa went. I already know that she went to Don Corneo's Mansion because I played this game a million times. But I think right now the characters don't know that. That's that's the issue, so. I don't know. Alright, let's go. Um yeah, stop yelling at me, you freaking Oh, I, th I think yeah, I think we gotta go to the Honeybee Inn, which is basically just like a whorehouse, more or less. But Maybe this asshole is it. Man, should I go? Oh, it's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. I get so mental times like this. I'm hopeless. Hey, aren't you... You mean you're... Okay, are you gonna finish? One of those... Yeah, me too, dude. You're Tifa's childhood friend and you brought a new girlfriend to a place like this? What kind of guy are you? Uh, I'm fucked up. Alright, so Johnny actually uh, has a crush on Tifa. Uh, <laughs> so he's kind of mad that uh, Cloud kind of had an in with her and... Then just brings another girl to this shady ass whorehouse, more or less. Um, you know a girl named Tifa? Tifa's our newest girl, but unfortunately she's having an interview right now. Okay, so Tifa has basically contacted these people uh, and said she wants a job working in this whorehouse, which is, uh. I mean, Tifa dresses pretty skimpy, but. I mean. She's not a whore, so something's up with this. Uh, but unfortunately, all new girls have to go to Don Corneo's mansion before they're inducted uh, into the Honeybee Inn for, you know, adult things, I guess. I don't know. They're kind of vague about what exactly you do here. Hey, you got another cute one, would you? Yeah, okay, Aris, here's the plan. We're gonna, we're gonna sell you to a whorehouse to get Tifa back. This is the Don's mansion. She's like, I'll go take a look. Cloud's like, yo, fuck that. You're not going anywhere in there. You do know what kind of place this is, right? Uh, so, and Cloud can't get in because he's a dude, and if you just bust on in there, it'll be, it'll be too much commotion, but... Oh, damn. What do we do? Eris is laughing about something. What you laughing about? Excuse me, what's so goddamn funny about this situation? Cloud, why don't you dress up like a girl? Are you... What? What? Are you kidding me? Are you, you want me to dress up like a pretty little lady? She wants to bring her cute friend. Oh, Jesus, no. Okay, so this is where the infamous cross-dressing sequence of Final Fantasy VII comes in. All of a sudden, this game goes from, like, relatively innocent, aside from, you know, murdering things, which is pretty standard in video games, to, boom, we are going into this seedy-ass, like, prostitute-ass, nasty place. Um, we are going to cross-dress in order to uh, fool the guard into letting us in so we can save our friend from becoming a whore basically but honestly we we need some we need some information about why exactly Tifa is doing such a thing because baby I, I speak from experience when I say that ain't Tifa um, so I think this is the first place we got to go into in order to get the side quest started hello excuse me I like a dress oh yeah so this is like the closed store so Oh, what's the problem? Basically, she's saying that uh, it'll take some time to get a dress, but apparently the father's been in a slump. He makes all the dresses, but he's getting fucking wasted. So, we can't get a dress until this dude can uh, get off his drunk ass, but... You'd help me bring him back? Hell yeah. Please help my crazy old dad. Your dad's a filthy, disgusting drunk. Okay, let's go. Let's go talk. And I already walked into the bar at one point. But, let's go talk to daddy. Hey daddy, how you doing? We need a dress, need to look fly. Uh, is this, yeah, I think this is the bar. We were just in here, I already forget. Yeah, okay. Alright. 
Are you the father girl at the clothing store? Yeah! I ain't your father. <laughs> She's like, no, no, you're drunk. Make me some goddamn clothes. I don't make men's clothes. I don't feel like making nothing. Cloud, you wait over there for a second. I'll try and talk to him. Why don't you go over there have something to drink? I don't trust you. You know, mister, he's always said that just once. He'd like to dress up like a girl. So that's why I wanted to make a cute dress for him. Oh, shit. Tough looking guy like that? The fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Might be interesting. Okay, so we sparked this guy's interest because a tough looking guy like Cloud wants to, um... Wants to make... Oh, I always forget what to pick here. Uh, we want something soft and something that shimmers, I believe. Okay. I got a friend that has the same taste as him. He's gonna go talk to him. Oh, man. So... Alright, so actually these these decisions that you make do have some bearing on it because it's going to affect what dress you have and we're actually kind of going to go all out right now. Um, let's see here. I don't think there's anything in here. Oh no, this is the this is the food. Just the food. Okay, so um, in order to get into Don Corneo's mansion, all you need is a dress and a wig, but you can actually go way out, way further into this than you actually need to and totally full-on dress yourself like the prettiest woman you can imagine. <laughs> it's not going to make any difference in the game, like, character model-wise, but, um, it's fun trying to get pick- it's- Alright, we'll- we'll get into it later. Hold on. Um, fucking anything. Korean barbecue plate. Uh, actually, uh, Korean barbecue sounds pretty goddamn good right now. It'll be shoving to gill. Yeah, what if it sucks? Do I get my money back? Thank you, just a second. Or was I supposed to order this special? I think it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know. But basically, we need to go here to get a coupon. So, om nom nom. It was delicious. It was alright. Okay, here we go. Watch out for our next promotion. Okay, so we got the pharmacy coupon. Nice. Okay, so... Um, basically, there's a whole bunch of stuff you need to do going around here and... Um, collecting different items if you want to make yourself look as pretty as possible, which I'm definitely going to do. Oh, shit! Why don't you say something you stand there? Apparently, I scared the shit out of this guy. Uh, we want a digestive medicine. So, if you were ever to do this without, like, a strategy guide, you would need to go around and talk... Before you, like, make any final decisions on, like, what exactly you want, um, you, uh, you really need to go around and talk to everybody uh, and really, really uh, prepare yourself and make sure that you know exactly what you need to pick in order to solve the problems of the people just hanging out around, uh, around town. Me, I generally remember everything. I th think I remember how to get everything. Like I said, I always forget the dress. I think you have to pick something that's soft. Uh, soft. Something that's soft and something that shimmers. Hey, someone's idiot. Don't look. I'm puking my dick off. So, this is why I got the digestive. Because you really give me some thanks. Because this person, uh, this, this woman's throwing the hell up in the bathroom. Give her some digestive medicine. She's going to give me some sexy cologne. So, bam. We got some uh, some perfume to make ourselves smell very womanly. Now this guy gets to take a shit. Congratulations. And we need to wait for this woman to slowly walk away. If you want to order, do it at the counter. Okay, fine. I'd like to order. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't take my order. Piece of shit. Oh, it's a really interesting, uh, interesting conversation you guys are having. Bada bing, bada boom. Cube world's still not up. Sad day. Um, so, I think this is where we go for the wig. What's going on, baby? Join the club. Try with us. Do you even lift, bro? Oh, dear, I've gained weight again. Oh, that sucks. Uh, I think I need to actually have my dress made before I can go in here, because that's, that's the, the friend that the dressmaker mentioned that has similar taste to Cloud, quote-unquote. Which is not really true. Cloud isn't exactly a willing crossdresser. He's he's just the kind of guy who will do what needs to be goddamn done. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, oh, you're here. It's ready. Go try it on. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, I think silk is is the best one. Yep. Okay. I think I think the silk dress is the uh, is the something that's soft and something that shimmers, and it's it's the best dress. I think there's three different dresses you can get, like a cotton dress, like a polyester dress, or something, and like some kind of shitty like fake pleather dress. And then, uh, and then the silk dress. Don't you look in here! I'm naked! And I'm wearing a dress! At the same time, somehow. Okay, so he's like, okay. You know, the gym, you'll find a lot of people there like you. Go and talk to them. What the hell do you mean, like me? I think he actually says that. Like you? Eris, what did you tell him? <laughs> yeah, does it matter? We got a dress! It doesn't matter! Shut the fuck up! Let's go! <laughs> Eris is, like, way too excited about this. 
She's like, oh, crowd, uh, crowd, you're going to make such a pretty lady. I don't know why I said crowd. Cloud, you're going to make such a beautiful woman. Okay, so here's the friend who's, uh, who's got this. So this guy is actually, you the one who wants to be cute? Cute? I don't want to be cute. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> what about the wig? Yeah, I heard, but it'll cost you. Ugh! Giant flexy black man comes to flex. Big bro, the only way you're going to get cuter is if you can beat Big Bro. That's right. Oh, man. These dudes are re being really dude bro right now. <laughs> Let's do squats. <laughs> this game gets so homoerotic right now. I love it. Anyway, all right. We'll beat you out of this gym. Yeah, you can beat me off anytime. Baby, the beautiful bro. You didn't know? Always running around here saying, big bro this, big bro that. Never mind that. Come over here. I'll explain the rules. Okay. From the ready position, press X to squat. Or, sorry, square to squat. X to get back up. And O to go back to the ready position. So, it's just a simple button sequence. And we just uh, we just do squats against this guy. Uh, we, gotta, we just gotta squat thrust this guy to death. And uh, we're competing for a wig here. And the little girl telling us about this um, is uh, actually a man. So, and start. And we're just gonna... The idea is to just get a nice rhythm, because if you hit anything out of sequence... Um, you don't really need to go super fast, but if, uh, if you just hit anything out of sequence, you'll do a little confused animation. Um, and this guy will actually mess up a few times on his own without any help from you. So he's actually going faster than me right now, but he's already messed up three times now. So I messed up not at all, so I'm actually going to win this pretty good. Um, I don't know if you need to get a certain amount or like... I think it's... Yeah, I had 20. I think you just need to beat him is all. Oh, you're really something. Okay, a man of my word. Here you are. <laughs> He's a little girl. like, I'm a man of my word. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. All right, we got the blonde wig. Big bro, I'm so mad. I'm so, so, so mad. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> she fucking nails this guy right into the mirror. Probably broke the mirror. Bro's fist of steel cut to the bone. <laughs> Just got fucking destroyed. Uh, I'll always remember that part. Anyway. Okay, so we got a dress, we got a wig, we got some goddamn fancy cologne, that's awesome. Um, although I think it's supposed to be perfume if a woman's wearing it, but I don't know. Can women wear cologne? Is there cologne for women? I honestly have no fucking clue. But, hey man, I got a minute, I need to talk man to man. What you want, baby? Really, I really appreciate it. I'm sorry, but young lady, can you fuck off? She said, what's, what's your problem? Eris, seriously, the man said fuck off, please fuck off. I'm sorry, lady, and here's the thing. You know what that vending machine, or do you know that vending machine in the inn? I mentioned to know what they sell in it. I can't just ask a girl to get it. Why? Why don't I buy it myself? Well, to tell you the truth, I got in a fight with the guy at the inn. I can't go there anymore. Come on. How about it? I'll go. Yeah, so this guy will actually, um, we, we just need to stay down at the inn and then hit up the, uh, hit up the vending machine. And I think, I don't know if it really matters what you bring him back. Um, why don't you get some rest? We have a beautiful room. Can you stop, stop talking? Um, I think you have to buy the most expensive item in the vending machine. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and... It'll be 10 gil per night. 10 gil, not really a whole lot. Okay, uh, and you want to buy the most expensive one, I believe. I think. I think... I don't know if it actually matters which one you buy. I think it's the most expensive one. It's the best one. Could be wrong. Um... I hope it's not, because I want to win this goddamn beauty pageant. Let's go. I just came out of there. I didn't even hit circle to talk to you, you dickbag. Anyway, let's go get this guy his little bauble. I don't know, what did he even give us? It was like a condom machine or something? Is that what he wanted? Got it. Oh, hey, what is it? Yeah, seriously, fuck off. And what is it? Sorry, Eris, you just gotta fuck off. Protein drink set, that jerk. I'm gonna do so much business in him, his head'll spin. Fuck that guy, just protein shakes. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna give me, what does he give me, a diamond tiara, I think? Diamond tiara, fuck yeah. That's all nice. Okay, so, this this episode's getting a little long, but I think I'll, I'll keep it going a little bit longer, just for that. Okay, we already got the Korean barbecue plata. We got the dress, we got the wig, we got the tiara, we got the uh, deodorant, or whatever it was, digestive. And now, I think if you beep, oh Jesus, <laughs> try to access a vending machine, I get shot at by a fucking ceiling mounted 
Gatling gun. What kind of place is this? It's not a good one, I'll tell you that. Oh, I actually gotta talk to that fat guy, I think. That I just ran past. Hey, fat man. Nope, can't just make up my mind. Here, you take this one. We'll be able to get in without it. Okay, and he gives me the member's card for the honeybee in. Perfect, because we need to get in there and get our dicks wet. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm, please, please, let me in. Is that a member's card I see shining in your hot little hand? Please, come in. I'm not in the dudes, even though I told the guy at the door I was. Mm, that's, look at Johnny crawling around. Johnny, what are you doing, man? Hmm, so that's how you fooled them. I don't... I don't understand what that little exchange meant. That's probably another poor translation kind of thing. Poo, uh, I mean, sir. Another bad translation. I promise the translations get more bearable once we get out of Midgar. <laughs> or at least afterward. I think it's really just the part, the whole part with Eris that's really bad, but. The lover's room. Looks like this room is being used. Take a peek. Oh, Cloud just makes some kind of like, oh, sound. What's going on, baby? Wheeze? Oh, somebody's wheezing in there. Okay, and I believe there are actually some characters that are recognizable in some of these rooms. So, Wheeze. Um, I don't think that guy's... Oh, uh, look, it's a tiny little... Oh, somebody may may recognize that. That's a tiny little Kate set. That's going to be a character later in the game. We'll, we will we will see him later on. You know, Grandma. There's just a fucked up conversation of some kind going around in here. But... I actually can't exit it. I know our son. Oh, this is supposed to be a, a woman? One of these is supposed to be a woman. The other one, this is like a grandma and grandpa. Is that a woman? I mean, I know she's got a pony. I guess it is. A big brown bed, gorgeous tub, just can't get comfy. So, so some, somebody's, some grandson just rented a fuck house for his grandma and grandpa. That's fucked up. Anyway. Poo, I mean, sir, hurry. Yeah, don't do shash me, lady. The fuck room. <laughs> uh, hold on. Not yet. I think there's another one to peek in. Oh. Did I mean to go? Oh, hey. Hey, what's up? Hey, ladies. Hmm. Oh, I just can't seem to lose weight. Hmm. You can't come in here, pervert. I'm in the dressing room. Deal with it, ladies. This is like, I mean, their bee costumes are kind of like just the... Just ignore him. Just ignore him. What the fuck? No! I'll do whatever I want. Pita, Pita, Pita. His name is Pooch. Uh, I think I need these ladies to do my makeup. Um, I think maybe I should come back when I'm dressed as a woman, and then they'll do my makeup. That's what I thought I had to do in here. Um, come say hi to him. Anyway, all right, we got we got stuff to do. We got dude butts to taste. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Queen's Room. Looks like this room is being used. Take a peek. Whoa! What's in here? Feeling naughty, are we? Oh yeah, this part's actually kind of fucked up. It's the King! This guy's got some weird fetishes. And there's someone in that pool. The wind's calm now. It's the curse of the resurrected Satan. Our beloved Queen does not awaken. Oh my god, you killed her! They're into some kind of crazy RP shit. The time is ripe! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the legend has been passed on through- I actually completely forgot about this. We have a luncheon with Pre President Shinra. You tell him. You can't tell him. So this is actually a Shinra employee who likes to dress up as a king and pretend to be... ...going through some kind of crazy ritual. It's like every time we have a business trip to Midgard. A great white sword on his back. I'm, I can't read all this. This is too much. I think that's... Is that Reeve? He's a character that's kind of important. That one actually might be Reeve. The president's wife found out about this little hobby of his. Oh, man. Wait, is that President Shinra? Oh, that's... Oh, my God. The, the king is President Shinra dressed up as a king. <laughs> Please remove the ancient curse. What the fuck? I totally forgot about that little, like, comedic segment where you peek in on President Shinra, like, pretending to be a god. The group room. Yeah, let's go with the group room. <laughs> Eat, they're, they're, you can either go in the fuck room or the group room, and I know that both of them sound tantalizing in their own delicious ways, but, um, don't make me repeat myself, bitch. <laughs> uh... It, this, this one, I think, has the funnier scene, personally. Let's go. It's a really confusing angle. 
All right. Hey, baby, how you doing? All right, so we got this nice, uh, oh, you got that little hop going on? Yeah, we got this nice little warm bed and this nice warm jacuzzi. And uh, shall we begin? I guess since you chose this room, that would mean you hate being lonely. I'm used to being alone, baby. You know what I mean. Jeez, it's so moody. Everyone's waiting. Oh, what? Everyone? Here they are. All right, everyone. One, two, 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 one, two. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Tons of muscular dudes. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, a lot of you who haven't played this game probably are like, what the fuck? But, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's just smiling at me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, okay, I'm out of here. I got no time to mess around with you. Out of my way. Fuck no. <laughs> Heave pant. Don't be so embarrassed. Loosen up, bubby. Heave <laughs> pant. Let's wash off all our sweat and dirt together. What's up? Oh, Jesus, no. Please, God, no. I want out. I want out. No. No. <laughs> bubby, you're the intimate type. Huh? No. I'm not the intimate type. I'm not. Would you look at that? No. No. <laughs> they just... They, I actually think they just disrobed Cloud. You sons of bitches. I did not sign up for this. Oh, no. Isn't baby great? It soothes your heart. How is it, Bubby? <laughs> Stop calling me Bubby. It hurts. It hurts. You'll get used to it. <laughs> Try counting to ten. Ten. No, no, he said two ten, not from... How old are you? I'm fourteen. Fourteen. Eight. I'm eight. I, I'm sorry, twenty-one. You're less than half my age. So jealous. Oh, God. He's like forty-five. How about it? You want to join the young Bubby screen? <laughs> No? <laughs> Seven, six, maybe in another life, motherfucker. Well, if that's how you feel, too goddamn bad. We have a trip planned at a cabin out in the country. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's ten. I'm getting out. Why don't you stick around and play a bit? We're going to splash each other. How did you fit this many dudes in this tiny little tub? There's like 40 of you. Daddy's so lonely. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. This scene always cracks me the hell up. This is like the best reason to go all out when you're playing, when you're doing the cross-dressing scene. Bubby, this is important to me. Here's a memento of our time together. I got the bikini briefs. God damn it. God damn it, Mookie. I hope we meet again. See ya, Mookie. I'll never forget the time we shared in the tub. <laughs> this is some underwear. I'm supposed to wear this shit. I think the underwear actually doesn't matter, uh, like, which underwear you get. Um... I think, I think the other, like, you can get, like, seductive lingerie or something, but I think it honestly, it doesn't matter in the least. Um, so, it's almost closing time, so please remember any personal belongings. Hey, the fuck are these people doing with Ares? Ah, uh, it's a Shinra soldier. I want flowers too, but I, know, but I get so nervous in front of cute girls. She seems natural to get cautious. Hey, fuck off. Okay, she just went inside me. Yeah, you love it. <laughs> Alright, so that's, that's maybe one of the more... Infamous scenes among fans of the series, uh, among fans of the game. Um, even more so than the cross-dressing scene, it's just that the cross-dressing scene is more well-known outside of the fans of the game, I think. But it's kind of hard to explain Cloud getting into a bathtub with like 12 buff dudes. But, okay, I'm ready. Let's do it. Now before I save, I, before we actually go to the, to, to the mansion and sneak our way in, um, not bad, this may be a new business for me, hey hey! <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Should we try it? I've shown us something new. So he's gonna, he's gonna now be, he's now gonna cater exclusively to, to cross dressers. But anyway, what was I saying? Um, before we save, I want to go back and try to get my makeup on, because I think if you go and talk to the honeybees, uh, they'll actually do your makeup up once you're dressed as a woman. And Eris has to choose a dress now and. They're like, hey, choose this one. And the old guy's like, nah, choose this one. And Eris is like, I'm going to take this one because I'm not into no man. Eris is kind of, um, she's not exactly like a, like a brash or like, I don't know. She's, she's, uh, she's feisty, I guess. You see, she's feisty. Oh, you're no fun. All right, so now we're, we're all dolled up. Okay. We're all dolled up, ready to get some dick. And, uh, I need to run back to the Honeybee Inn real quick. I'm dressed as a woman and nobody mind me, even though I just came through. Hey, princess! Hey, you guys can fuck right off. No! No! Get away! Get away! Let me through. A hard, spiky hairstyle. Kind of looks kind of familiar. I only talk to the pretty ones. You're the one. You're just great. I, uh, uh, he just came in his pants. <laughs> nice one, Johnny. 
Can I actually get past these guys? I could have sworn they'll do... Oh, you know what? I think they, uh... I think you can't go back in here. Yeah, hmm. Did I forget? Ooh, is that gonna come back and bite me? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I don't know. We'll end it here. Um, I have this save that I made right when I got here, so I can always just go ahead and, um, you know, redo it before the next episode starts. Uh, I'm gonna look it up and see if the, the, the uh, makeup actually does make a difference, but... Anyway, guys, uh, that will be it for episode 4 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Now you know what all the hubbub is about, why there's a, why there even is a cross-dressing scene in this game to begin with, but... Um, that's, that's the cross-dressing, and uh, actually it's not done. This is going to unfold a little bit more, and we're gonna look real goddamn fine when it happens, so... Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.